Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some interesting PCB projects that you can also try. So let's get started. A huge shout out to Altium and JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Number 12. A photograph displays our emotions and memories behind it. So to recall all his good memories in one place, Indoor Geek made a photo frame with a PCB. The PCB itself is a part of the frame with a cutout in the middle for the e-paper display. The silk screen layer shows the layout of an actual map with copper touchpads that looked like the map location symbol. Touching any one of the location touchpads will display an image from that place on an e-paper display. An interesting way to recall memories from a particular place, right? Number 11. Most people fall asleep on their stomachs, which leads to neck pain. YouTuber Elite Worm was facing a similar issue. That's why he made a neck monitor that senses his body position while he is asleep. Instead of using an acoustic signal, he uses a small vibration motor for notification. The custom-designed PCB is housed inside a 3D printed enclosure. If the monitor is upside down, it senses that you are sleeping wrong and starts vibrating until you move. To maximize the battery life, it remains in sleep mode most of the time and updates the body position status in every 8 seconds. Number 10. Volos does not like the concept of perf boards, so he designed a universal PCB board for himself. A credit card sized PCB to prototype various circuits. The upper section is used to place different ICs or microcontrollers. For each pin, a separate logic O and one line is provided. This layout makes power connection straightforward and clean, while also making it very easy to add SMD components, like decoupling capacitors. The lower portion can be used as a breadboard to connect components like 7-segment displays, OLED, or a battery holder. You can either use it as a timer circuit, a decade counter, or play games using a 5-way switch. Number 9. Whether you are a student or an employee, this project might be useful for you. If you're working on a laptop and someone enters the room, then this project will automatically change the currently open window on your laptop. Thus, all your secrets are safe. A door sensor is present in the transmitter side that detects the door movement. As any movement is detected, the Arduino Bluetooth setup sends a signal to the receiver. The receiver directly connects to the laptop's USB port. It also consists of an Arduino Bluetooth setup that acts as a USB keyboard and sends a command to open a new window on the laptop. Now that's how legends work. Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs to anyone from anywhere with a single click. And to convert these designs to real-life PCB boards, look no further than JLC PCB. They provide all types of PCB services and assembly at very competitive prices. Their high-quality PCBs, accompanied by quick delivery and great customer service, make them the perfect partner for your electronics projects. Check out the link in the description below to find out more about Altium Designer and JLC PCB. Number 8. If you're obsessed with making robots, then you must try this project. An all-in-one PCB board that can act as a line follower, obstacle avoider, and Bluetooth-controlled robot. The board consists of a mix of SMD as well as through-hole components on it. At the center, an IC is present that acts as a brain of the robot. In order that the robot remains lightweight, two N20 motors are used. Another PCB is stacked over the first one to properly place the battery within them. Once the setup is done, you can see the robot running in all directions easily. The LEDs present at the bottom give the robot a bright look while running. Number 7. Whether you are controlling a vehicle, a drone, or a robot, an RC controller is required in these applications. 
Through this project, Smart Solutions for Home shows how he designed a universal and economic RC controller. The transmitter-receiver communication happens flawlessly up to 22 meters. A green LED indicates that the communication is all right, while the red LED indicates that there is some problem with the receiver. This trigger can also be used as an accelerator. At the top, a joystick is provided, while an additional knob is placed at the bottom of the device to set the maximum speed of the vehicle. Tell us where you would like to use this controller. Number 6. This board can be used as a simple LoRa-based GPS tracker system. The device wakes from deep sleep, takes the GPS information via LoRa and displays it on the other device. After publishing the data, the device goes back to deep sleep. This data can be viewed in any cloud-based visualization software. Now you might be thinking about how efficient this device is. While taking the readings, the device consumes around 90 milliamps, and while publishing data over LoRa, the peak current rises to over 200 milliamps. In deep sleep, the device needs only 80 microamps. Pretty interesting, right? Number 5. In case of a power outage, some people light a candle, but some creative hobbyists use their own electronic candles. The purpose of the project is to create an efficient switch with adaptive brightness. This electronic candle is powered by a 12 watt DC source which lights up two G4 light bulbs. Each bulb can be controlled individually and the intensity of the light bulb can be controlled by a potentiometer. Instead of relying on any microcontroller, a triple five timer is used to generate the PWM pulses. Number 4. This is a clone of the Arduino board with 16 keys and a 7-segment display. It is used as a calculator, but some additional pins are also provided that can be used for external modules, sensors, and relays. It can also be used to display some data. One unusual thing about the keyboard is that it is not multiplexed. Each button has a label that indicates what Arduino pin it connects with. So, key 6 connects to pin 6 and so on. And if you get bored with all the mathematics, you can also use a melody to cheer yourself up. Number 3. Working with lasers can be harmful, so make sure to take the necessary precautions while following this project. This pocket-sized laser is built mostly of 3D printed parts and is controlled via Bluetooth. Instead of using a linear axis, this project uses a rotational axis to rotate the laser. This makes the design compact and simple. The laser module and mirror gimbals are mounted on a stand made of light aluminum so that the whole thing is suspended directly over a workpiece. And the laser engraver can be safely operated from a smartphone from a distance. The steppers slew the mirror to raster the beam across the workpiece and burn a design. Number 2. With this project, Upper shows how he made a simple volume control using Arduino Leonardo, a big knob, and a custom PCB. The Arduino Leonardo board has built-in USB HID functionality that makes it easy to send keyboard shortcuts that adjust the computer's volume. For that, Upir came up with two modules. The first one uses a smaller knob in which the LEDs are visible outside the knob while the second one uses a bigger knob in which the LEDs are hidden below the knob. In each case, the LEDs light up according to the rotation of the knob. Which of these two designs do you like more? Tell us in the comments. Number 1. Keybon is an adaptive macro keyboard for your computer. With this, you can work on multiple programs faster and save time. In each of its nine tactile buttons, a 0.66-inch OLED screen is integrated Depending on which app is active on the connected computer, Keybon switches to the suitable key layout. In standalone mode, Keybon acts as a simple keyboard and shows its pre-configured buttons functions. The companion software for Windows allows you to create your own keyboard layouts and assign them to any application on your PC. 
The companion software monitors the applications in focus and changes the layouts accordingly. In this mode, Keybond communicates over a virtual COM port. Layouts are sent to the device on demand, which in turn sends key events back to the computer. So these were some of the projects that were made using custom PCBs. Tell us your favorite one in the comments. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.